Now let's try working with get rebase to do a fast forward merge when we have two branches that have diverged from each other. And so you can see here in this diagram, this is a diagram that we saw earlier. I have a master branch, which has three commits. I have a feature branch, which has four commits. Master and feature have two commits in common. And what I want to do, if I want to merge these simply using get merge, then I'm going to have to do a three-way merge, and we'll end up with a merge commit. That merge commit will have a, a default commit message that says merge branch feature in it, and it'll end up as, uh, what do we have here? You end up with six commits. Notice that. We're going to come back to that fact in just a minute. If we use a three-way merge, we end up with six commits. Now let's contrast that with doing it a different way and doing a get rebase. And so what I'm going to do is I would like to do a get rebase. So I'll switch over to my feature branch, and I'd say I would like to change my my feature, I'm going to like to change my feature branch so that instead of being based at this point, I would like to move everything over, move all of this over to the right such that this is now going to be based on this new endpoint for master. Master now ends here at B5, uh, at B5, and I'd like to move feature over so that it's based on that. And that's what that is what get rebase is going to allow us to do. The way that that works is that get will take those two features, or take those the commits that are on that branch, it will take those commits and it will determine what has changed, what is the diff, what is the patch, what is, what is happening on each of those commits. Then it will slide those over and then apply them to master. And so previously, this was here, and now Git will figure out, well, what would happen if instead we did this work of making the document yellow? What would happen if we did that work on this commit? And so the result would be that we would have that same document, but now we have this change, the fact that it's yellow. Uh, then the next step, of course, would be to apply the next change. So the next change is that we have two vertical bars. What would that look like? if we apply two vertical bars to this document, well, then we end up with a hash, and that becomes our new feature branch. When we do a merge at this point, you'll notice that master is sitting right here, and it does not have, it does not have any additional commits coming off of uh, master, and so if we merge uh, feature into master, all that's going to take place is a fast-forward merge, and the label for master gets moved out here. It, of course, this would be equivalent, I mean, just drawing it uh, like this uh, is no different than drawing it like this. It's just that we have now these series of five commits. This is time going from left to right. These series of five commits, and right now, feature and master, because we did that fast-forward merge, feature and master are both pointing at the same commit, and they are equivalent to each other. So here I am on the command line. I'm in a folder called get rebase. And what I'd like to do is rebase feature. I'm going to base my feature branch on where my current master branch is. So let's quickly check and see where those two branches are in relationship to each other. Uh, let me see. I am on, I'm on my master branch. I could also see that with the branch command. I can uh, look at the log like so, and I see that on the master branch, I'm at this point where I've already, I've done another edit to hello.txt. If I did log one line dash all, then that will show me all the commits, but it doesn't tell me which branch is on which. So I'll do decorate, and then that'll show me that my head, my master, is on another edit to hello.txt, but features on a different, uh, it, feature branch is at a different commit, it's on edited feature.txt. So let's uh, switch over. I'm going to switch over to the feature branch. And then, whoops, uh, oh, yeah, this is a common mistake. I'm sure you'll make it sometime. I said get branch feature, which if there wasn't already a feature branch, that would have created a feature branch. What I meant to say is check out feature. Great, so now I am on the feature branch that already exists. And let's see 
what the string of commits are on that branch. And the last one is edited feature.txt. So what I'd like to do is I would like to rebase this feature branch and instead of it branching off at added hello.txt, I'd like to move the place where it branches all the way to the end of master. So I would like to rebase this current branch that I'm on, I'd like to rebase it on master. And so what Git's going to do is it's going to take all the changes that have been applied, all the changes that have been applied since added hello.txt, it's going to take all those changes, advance feature all the way to the commit where master is, and then reapply these changes. Add, it'll add feature.txt and then add edited, uh, and then it'll add that last one, edited feature.txt. So let's uh, press enter and hold our breath, and sure enough, that's what it says. First rewound head to replay your work on top of master. So it rewound head back to where feature branched off, then it forwarded all the way to the end of where master is now, then it reapplied everything, and check this out, if I do git log one line now, I'm still on my feature branch, then we can see that our commit is much larger. Earlier, up here, you can see these four, and, and nothing in there about uh, adding another edit to hello.txt, and then now, we can see that our feature branch includes adding hello, editing hello, doing another edit at hello, and now the additional commits that we had been previously done on our feature branch. So now that I have rebased feature on master, the advantage of that for uh, merging is that if I check out master, so I'm going to switch back over to master and nothing, nothing has changed here. Doing that rebase didn't make any changes, master still doesn't know about the feature document, there's no feature.txt here, but now if I do a merge and I merge the feature branch into the current branch I'm in, master, it's able to do a fast forward because as far as comparing those two branches now, the feature branch is based on the current master branch and so there's no need to really do a merge, all we're doing is moving the master label out to the same commit that feature is on. Let's review what we just did, we had two separate branches, a feature branch and a master branch, we wanted to rebase feature, move feature down the line, and so we called rebase, uh, we said get rebase master, and what get did is it took all the changes that had been applied on the feature branch, it shifted them over and incrementally applied them to the new end of master until we ended up with something like this, and then when we did the get merge, then that simply became a simple fast forward merge and we had only five commits and we didn't have this extraneous, uh, what do you call it, a, um, a merge commit at the end when we brought those two together. So that's one advantage of doing the get rebase is that you don't get that extraneous merge commit and then the other advantage is that if, if the changes that had been ha happening on master impacted the changes that I had been implementing on feature, if those changes, uh, had, had there been some kind of a conflict, then I could have worked those out on the feature branch before ever trying to merge with master. And so that's the advantage of, of doing this rebase before you do the merge onto another uh, development branch where people are collaborating.